Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Uh, welcome you to Mass this evening and Thursday in the fourth week in ordinary time. And we're offering this Mass for the repose of the soul of Mark Taylor. Eternal rest from time to him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Of uh, course, of your charity, I'm sure you want to keep in your prayers uh, the repose of the soul of Father Stephen Portager. And also, please uh, pray for uh, two dear parishioners of ours who have gone to the Lord as well, um, Michael Kitts, and of course, uh, uh, also Keith Ball. Eternal rest is granted to them, O Lord, and let their natural light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels of the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honour you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Greatness and might. You, Lord, are the 
repent and believe the good news. And he summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for the journey except a star, no bread, no haversack, no coppers for their purses. They were to wear sandals with the added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, if you enter a house anywhere, stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you, and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance, and they cast out many devils, and anointed many sick people with oil, and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As David realises he is dying, he leaves a last will and testament, consisting of two parts, a religious one and the other dealing with political matters. He addresses his son Solomon, asking him to be strong and to act manfully. Indeed, but above all else, he is to be a father to his people, that he will show the people that it is infidelity to God's commandments that will bring about their happiness and prosperity, and that infidelity, on the other hand, will only lead to their estrangement from God. A faithful Catholic, too, should ensure that their next of kin is aware of their wishes, especially in regard to uh, their funeral wishes. Would they want a requiem mass celebrated? What about their estates? Will a small but generous proportion of their estates be given over to fund the mission and maintenance of their parish family with whom they have shared fellowship and communion with? Here also in tonight's Gospel is a hint of the sacrament of the sick. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up, something anyone near death desires. Sadly, not all of David's successors remain faithful. And not all families today understand the importance of having a Catholic funeral because they find it difficult, forgetting that it's not really about them, but the repose of the soul of the one who has died. For David, to sleep with one's fathers meant to die and be in spiritual limbo, waiting for God to release them. And on Holy Saturday, Think about that beautiful reading in the Office of Readings where we hear about Christ descending to the realm of the dead, releasing Adam and the fathers into the fullness of God's presence. Thus it's our duty to our fathers and to our mothers. Uh, that duty does not end with their funeral, but we continue with the prayers of the holy souls in purgatory, that they will comp complete their purification and attain the glory of heaven. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Jesus Christ has chosen us to preach his crucifixion and his resurrection, so that others, especially our family and friends, may have the same hope of eternal life that we have. As disciples, we have the mission of bringing the kingdom of God into fruition. And that will only be found in souls that are open to God's word now and for eternity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we of faith. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, and Richard our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the sublation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread with his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, 
in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. For therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings of a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones you are pleased to accept, the gifts of your servants, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, the place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, open your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with light, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through a whole heaven, with heaven, and heaven, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. The Saviour's command of all by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold 
the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those all to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your merciful love. O oh Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. The body of Christ. 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 Bless you, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. Body of Christ, Body of Christ, bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Body of Christ, the Body of Christ, the Body of Christ, the Body of Christ, bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Body of Christ, the Body of Christ. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Uh, so Mass here uh, tomorrow at 10am uh, for the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord's Candle Mass. And then Mass here on Saturday morning at 10am for the optional memorial of St. Blaise, Bishop of Malta. Um, and at 10.30 the after Mass, uh, we'll have the annual traditional blessing of throats, uh, which for me is kind of two months too late. But uh, for the rest of you, I'll be very pleased to give you the blessing of friends. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Amen.